Defense Department reviews after Saudi national kills three people at Pensacola Naval Base. CNN The Defense Department will review measures for screening foreign students after a deadly shooting at Naval Air Station Pensacola in Florida on Friday. The gunman was a second lieutenant in the Saudi Arabian military involved in flight training at the station, U.S. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper said Friday. Three people were killed in the shooting and eight others were injured and taken to a hospital, authorities said. Officials are looking into whether the shooting was terror-related as a possible motive, but it's still early in the investigation. I also talked about our team looking at the measures we have in place to ensure proper vetting and screening of foreign students as they come to our country to make sure we understand we have a good handle on who they are and that they've been properly screened, Esper said Friday night. Two law enforcement sources told CNN the shooter is told CNN the shooter, who was killed, has been identified as Saudi Arabian national Mohammed al shamrani the gunman started his training in August 2017 as part of a three-year program. He was taking classes in basic aviation, initial pilot training and English, according to a spokesperson for the assistant to the Secretary of Defense. What do we know about the man who killed three at a Florida Navy base? Follow Live Updates. Foreign students have long trained at the base. Naval Air Station Pensacola employs more than 16,000 military and 7,400 civilian personnel, according to the base's website. Many families also live there, said retired Rear Admiral John Kirby, CNN's military and diplomatic analyst, who was once stationed there. Foreign students from partner nations have trained at the base to learn naval aviation for years, commanding officer of NAS Pensacola Captain Tim Keensella told reporters. There's always been international students training here because it's a good place to train, it's good quality training, he said. He roughly estimated that there were a couple hundred foreign students at the base. Here is what we know about the U.S. military's program to train foreign troops. At a news conference, Governor Ron DeSantis mentioned the connection to the Saudi Air Force and said that he had spoken to President Donald Trump about it. There's obviously going to be a lot of questions about this individual being a foreign national, being a part of the Saudi Air Force and then to be here training on our soil, he said. Obviously, DeSantis added, the government of Saudi Arabia needs to make things better for these victims. Saudi King Salman Abdulaziz Al Saud expressed deep sadness and sorrow in the call, state-run SPA News reported. The king told the president that he ordered Saudi services to cooperate with the investigation, according to SPA. Trump said on Twitter he has spoken with the king of Saudi Arabia about the shooting. The king said that the Saudi people are greatly angered by the barbaric actions of the shooter, and that this person in no way shape or form represents the feelings of the Saudi people who love the American people, the president said. King Salman of Saudi Arabia just called to express his sincere condolences and give his sympathies to the families and friends of the warriors who were killed and wounded in the attack that took place in Pensacola, Florida. The king said that the Saudi people are greatly angered by the barbaric actions of the shooter, and that this person in no way shape or form represents the feelings of the Saudi people who love the American people. Asked whether the shooting would affect the U.S.-Saudi military-to-military -military relationship, Esper said, I don't see this undermining the deeper relationship we've had with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for decades. Two deputies were wounded in confrontation. Authorities first received a call about an active shooter at Nas Pensacola around 6.51 a.m. Friday, as Cambia County Sheriff David Morgan told reporters. The shooting occurred in a classroom building, Keensella said. The shooter used a handgun and was killed after two deputies exchanged gunfire with him. The deputies who confronted the shooter also suffered gunshot wounds, one in the arm and one in the knee. Both are expected to survive. Three people were killed and eight others were injured, FBI Jacksonville said on Twitter the names of the victims are not being released until authorities notify their families. 
Walking through the scene was like being on the set of a movie, Morgan said. This doesn't happen in Escambia County. It doesn't happen in Pensacola. It doesn't happen to our friends and neighbors who are members of the U.S. Navy, Morgan said. But it did, and it has. The shooting comes just two days after an active-duty U.S. sailor, Gabriel Romero, killed two civilian employees and injured another before killing himself at Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard in Hawaii. Investigators have not announced a motive for the Wednesday shooting. The FBI is investigating. The FBI has taken over the Pensacola investigation, according to an FBI spokeswoman. The investigation is global in scope, a law enforcement source told CNN, with agents posted in Riyadh tasked with liaising with the Saudi government to obtain background information about the shooter. Escambia County Sheriff David Morgan told CNN's Aaron Burnett that the FBI had secured the areas on base where the shooter was staying and they had recovered his laptop and cell phone. In a tweet early Saturday morning, FBI Jacksonville offered a statement from special agent in charge Rachel Rojas expressing condolences to the families of the victims of Friday's shooting. On behalf of the entire hash F.B.I, I offer our condolences to the families of the innocent victims taken from us, and our support to the entire community. We live here with you, and you have my commitment that we'll give our all to this investigation, Rojas said. CNN's Melissa Alonzo, Scotty Andrew, Josh Campbell, Rachel Clark, Shimon Prokopech, Alta Spells and Amanda Watts contributed to this report.